fighting for law and order, Captain Video operates from a mountain retreat with secret agents at all points of the globe, possesses scientific secrets and scientific weapons. Captain Video asks no quarter and gives none to the forces of evil. Captain Video. What is it, Gallagher? This could be the signal from the Ranger. Find him on the scanning device. He must have the information he went for to be returning so soon. Captain Video calling Video Ranger. Identify numeral 398. Come in, Ranger. The video ranger got past us. Car 1 to Toba Control. Come in, TC. Car 1 to Toba Control. Come in, TC. I've been watching on my scope and I'm already aware of your blundering. That ranger must be stopped. I have reason to believe that he's carrying a report for Captain Video that will seriously implicate me. We'll catch him. I doubt if you can do it. I'll call Station X to stop him. No, don't do that. I do not wish to have any of my secret inventions revealed as yet. Call Station Y. Order the men there to use Plan B-3. Give me a fine-tuning on the scanner. Maybe I can recognize those men. Turn on a supersonic detector. I want to hear what that man is saying. I can't get through. Somebody must have erected a sonic barrier between us. That man could have been calling for help. Any help would have to appear in front of the ranger. Turn the optic and skillometer on the country ahead of him. Here's something. With a finer adjustment, I can see what's in that box. That box is filled with explosives. There's no way to warn the Ranger. Not unless I can reach him first in the jet mobile. Keep trying to contact him. Perhaps you can pierce that sonic barrier.
lights and video. Use the cosmic vibrator. We'll take him to headquarters and find out what this is all about. He tried to blast me. I know all about it. I might have known you would. got here set to blast off too soon. And he caught Drock. We'll take Drock to his place and work him over. We'll go to Station X and see what we can do. I'll ask you for the last time. Who are you working for? I tell you, I don't know his name. He came to the cabin and hired Elko and me for the job. Do you realize this job, as you call it, was attempted murder? No, it wasn't. We were only trying to blow up a part of the road. Captain. There were three men in a car chasing me. Do you know any of them? I didn't see them, so I, I don't know. Our conversation is being broadcast. What happened to the man that was with you? He got scared when he saw Captain Video coming and bailed out. Where did you get the explosives? We made it at the cabin. Drock, we're turning you over to the police in town. Take him to the car. Get up. He couldn't fool our electronic wave detector. Are you really going to turn him over to the police? No. I intend to use him as bait to catch his pals who were listening in on us. They'll try to rescue him on the way to town. That's what I'm counting on. Cover us with the optical scalometer. I'll keep in touch by the palm mic. Right. Captain Video is going to turn Drock over to the police in town. That must not be allowed. Either rescue Drock or dispose of him. Station X off. Let's move. You know what to do. Somebody around here knows something about electronics? of the paralysis ray gun will wear off in a short time. In a moment, I'll let you show me where your apparatus is. I'm sure it'll prove most interesting. Gone. Reminds me of Dr. Pauley's cloak of invisibility. I hope he hasn't come back. Video. Captain Video. 
Captain Video. Emergency. Emergency. There's a strong electrical charge building up in your immediate vicinity. Get out. The ignition system's okay. We'll take this man into town, then you can give me the report you brought. It's from Agent 42. He wouldn't send it in writing, prepare to be intercepted. And he told me to be sure to tell you that he had detected magnetic and electronic impulses which he believes are affecting the weather. Has he any line on the direction of their impact? Yes, azimuth 135 degrees, 30 minutes. We'll get reports from other agents, then we'll triangulate. Tune the scanning device. Right. Agent 136 reporting. Agent 136 reporting. What are the weather conditions in your sector? There have been unusually heavy rains, melting snows, swollen rivers, causing serious flood conditions, wrecking all wreckage for this time of year. Have you detected any magnetic interference? Yes. What is the direction of its source? Asthma, 47 degrees. Agent 29 reporting. Report on weather conditions. An out of the season hurricane has just hit this section. Damage is already reported as running into the millions. No loss of life reported as yet. My instruments show strong magnetic impulses from asthma. H7.3. Shut it off. Run this on the calculator. Reference right six eight up three seven. What's the location? Do you remember Dr. Tobor? How could I forget him? The cosmic ray expert whose hobby is weather. The lion runs straight through the spot where his laboratory is. He always claimed that someday man could make weather to order. You figure he's experimenting with it? I don't know, but I intend to find out. Take charge, Gallagher. The ranger and I are going visiting. <laughs> Captain Video to see Dr. Tobor. Captain Video and party of one to see you, sir. Find the doctor in his laboratory in the sub-basement. A pleasure, Captain Video. I thought you were never coming to see me. This is Retner, my assistant. Let me show you around the place. I'm very proud of it. It'll be a pleasure. But first, there's some questions I want to ask you. Certainly. I'd be glad to share my knowledge with you. You undoubtedly are aware of the strange weather that certain parts of the country have been having lately? Of course, it's my hobby. Are you responsible for any of it? You flatter me by overestimating my ability. But seriously, I've been trying to prevent these floods, storms, and other disasters that have been occurring. It is possible it could be caused by forces from another planet. Yes, it's possible, but not probable. Let me explain. By using the magnetic forces of the Earth, I can set up high or low pressure areas. This causes large weather masses to go into motion, as you know. And could cause an atmospheric disturbance. Not to any great degree. I've been trying to use this method to combat these unfortunate disasters. I'd like to know more about this. Do you have any objections if I stay here with you for a while and study it? No, not at all. Thanks. 
I have some arrangements to make first, but I shall return immediately. Fine. I'll be expecting you. That Captain Video isn't going to be easy to fool. Tune in on the wavelength of Vulture on the planet Atoma quickly. Planet Atoma in the eighth time cycle. Dr. Tobar calling Vultura. Tobar sure looked guilty. So I noticed. Why leave? You'll see. Dr. Tobar calling Vultura on the planet Atoma. This is Vultura of Atoma. I am receiving you. You've got to help me. Captain Video suspects that I've been up to something. You have been stupid to arouse his suspicions. He is a clever and dangerous enemy. Yes, I know. It might be better if I left for a while. Your carelessness endangers my plan to conquer the Earth. If you leave, it would only confirm the Captain's suspicions. I know, but he's coming back. I am speaking. I have a clever scheme. If you vanish under mysterious circumstances, no suspicion could fall on you. Yes, of course. That's it. You will leave at once in the interplanetary space projectile. Let me have your phone, Mike. Captain Video calling control. Identifying numerals 398. I'm in control. Gallagher speaking. Numerals 532. Cover Dr. Tobor's section with the usual apparatus. Check. Captain Video signing off. Gallagher did. Captain Video calling control, numerals 398. Gallagher speaking, numerals 532. A rocket left that section five seconds ago. Did you get a declination on it? Yes, here it is. 96, 37, 52. Good work, Gallagher. Signing off. Now we'll go back and see what Mr. Retner has to say. How about Dr. Tober? I don't think he'll be there. Bring him to with your inertia light. Use a negative beam. I'm going to use Tobor's electronic telescope. and the figures given us by Gallagher. Where's Dr. Tobor? He's gone. Some strangely clad men suddenly entered. They overpowered us and took him. In the space projectile? Yes. Is your electronic telescope focused on Mars? Yes. The doctor was just studying it. If you hear from him, let me know at once. Of course. Of course. That planet was not Mars. What was it? One I never saw before. Call Gallagher and tell him to have our world orientation staff check on it at once. Video Ranger calling control, identifying numerals 928.
Ventura. Our leader is working on a new invention. Come, I'll contact him. Welcome to Atoma, Dr. Tobor. With my aid, you made a safe journey. Well, I don't feel safe. Captain Video is clever enough to track me down. I hope he tries. Then I shall be able to liquidate my most dangerous enemy. Meanwhile, you can aid in my present campaign, which is the conquest of the planet Theros. I have moved close to it, and I have already landed forces there. The quest of Theros is the first step toward making me supreme dictator of the universe. The people of Theros are industrious and peace-loving, so they are no match for my trained soldiers. My forces are encountering some opposition, but will quickly overcome it. The war of liberation is being directed from my secret control room here on Atoma. I have directed a cosmic bombardment toward the principal city of Theros. Rocket troop carriers, loaded with soldiers, are constantly being shot to Theros to aid in the liberation of the people of that planet. The prisoners we take will be put to work to increase production of materials which I need, and to repay me for having liberated them. A few small guerrilla bands have seized weapons and are trying to defend themselves. They will be quickly liquidated, as will any others who prove ungrateful enough to resist me. Familiarize yourself with the control board. The staff reports that that strange new planet is Atoma. It came into view only about 10 years ago. It's mobile, but it follows no particular course. Good work, Gallagher. Is the rocket projector ready for takeoff? Yes, sir. And I've set the controls on a course toward Atoma. Good old Gallagher. Ranger, you and I are going to join Dr. Tobor. Good luck, Captain. And um, give my regards to the doctor, will you? Goodbye. Goodbye, Ranger. Vultura control room, Vultura control room, we are alert. A space projectile has just left the planet Earth. It is believed Captain Video is in it. The projectile flies on a due course for a tour. Don't be afraid, Dr. Tobor. I, Vultura, will show you how to dispose of this Captain Video. What are those objects you are working on? My newest invention. Electronic men. You will see them in action soon. It's amazing. But now to our immediate problem. If you will follow my orders exactly, Captain Video will never complete his journey. Take a look in there. It's my improved electronic telescope. Tell me what you see. Why, it's a small asteroid. Now? 
Another one. What you have seen are two extinct comets, drifting aimlessly in space. I have the power to make them active again. Fantastic. With these, you activate the comets. By this control, you move them where you will. Try them. Oh. Dr. Tobor is in league with the dictator, Valtura. Captain Video and the Ranger race toward Atoma in their space rocket to save the famous scientist. in the auxiliary impulse jet. What can we do? Our only chance is to flash between them before they meet. We can't safely change course at this speed. Uh, give them greater speed. Quick, into the safety compartment. Quick. What do we need it in here for? It neutralizes atmospheric pressure density in this cabin. We're falling. I've released the safety compartment from the ship. But without any power control, we might stay adrift up here forever. We're under the influence of gravitational pull from some planet. That's why we're falling. Could it be that strange planet, Atoma? After what's happened, I doubt if we'll ever find Atoma. Or Dr. Tobor. My scientific genius has destroyed Captain Video, as I told you it would. Yes, it's fortunate for me that I fled from Earth to join you here. You can repay me for saving you by going to the planet Theros and taking charge of my new control room there. Well, is that safe? I thought you were at war with Theros. Oh, it's hardly a war. My soldiers are liberating the people there, bringing them under my control. They're no match for my armed forces. Well, of course, just as you say. I will tell you what I want done and arrange for your transportation. Come. altitude 17,000 feet, 14,000, 11, 
Nine. At this rate, we'll crack up. I'll cut in the gravity check. Grab hold of the hand brace. It'll neutralize the landing shock. We've landed. Don't take that off. Wait until I've checked the outside atmospheric content. Remember, we're on a strange planet. It has air, hasn't it? I hope so. But there may not be oxygen enough to sustain life. The atmospheric content is almost identical to that of Earth. We must have landed on some satellite planet. Or a dead world. There's some grass and scrub growth over there. It's possible we'll find other form of life here. I'm beginning to think we've got this place all to ourselves. Not quite. This planet is inhabited. And by humans. Hello! Hello! Ranger, wait! not of Theros. Who are you? We are from the planet Earth. Our intentions were peaceful until your friends here attacked us. They were our captors. Then why didn't you help us? We know nothing of fighting. You could have run. Run where? Vulture's soldiers would find us. Already his forces are invading Theros. His warning to us is written in the sky. It's a symbol of Vulture's might. There's no escaping the Red Doom. Well, who's this Volturra? Dictator of the mobile planet Atoma. He claims to be our protector. But we know he means to conquer the entire solar system. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Have you made any attempt to fight for yourselves? Theros is a peaceful planet. We have no weapons of war. What is Volturra's excuse for attacking you? He has none. But after his first soldiers landed, some of our young men stoned him. Then Volturra declared us aggressors and ordered his so-called uh, War of Liberation. Familiar trick of the dictators. If we could find weapons, would you fight for your freedom? Try us. Where could we find more of Volturra's troops or perhaps a supply base? There is one two shadows lengths from here. We will be taken there. As far as that, a journey of 51 minutes in your time. We'll go there. But first, the ranger and I will borrow a couple of uniforms. Yes. The guard room is located just around this bend. Beyond this room along the passage, the control room. No one is allowed in there. The ranger and I have just granted ourselves special permission.
trouble in zone K, the guard room. We'll take the shortcut. Forcing his guards attack us. Search the passages. Tobor. Captain Video, why are you here? To rescue you, of course. Oh, you shouldn't have come. This, this place is heavily guarded. Well, these disguises got us in. They'll help get you out. Oh, it's too risky. Suppose we're challenged. Don't you want to be rescued? Well, yes, of course, but, but the risk. We'll take you out as our prisoner. Then we'll radio Ranger Headquarters for a rescue ship to pick us up. Ready, Doctor? Yes. The detectograph. Dr. Tober's sending that signal. He's in trouble. Beam from Sector 11, that's two shadow links southeast of here. Send a scouting party over there from Zone W and hurry. We're being followed. Cut through the rocks and try to lose them. The doctor now head for the landing compartment. Genius device. Too bad it lacks power propulsion. Doesn't lack communication. Will that instrument get a message through to Earth? We'll soon find out. It transmits sonic waves over a split frequency. You can make it a lot easier on yourself if you'll tell us where Captain Video has taken Dr. Tobar. I'll tell you nothing. Since your lips refuse to speak, your mind will do it for us. Fly the electronic mind reader. I recognize that area. It lies beyond the rocks, two shadow lengths south of here. Dispatch an armed party at once. You worried about your interplanetary message getting through? I'm more worried about the Ranger. He should have been back long ago. I'm going out to look for him. Wait here, Doctor. As you wish.
pressure gun. You saved my life. The boy's life we cannot save. What do you mean? Where is he? A prisoner in the underground control room. Be patient. Your good friend, the captain, will soon join you. Dr. Attention, Captain Video. Valtora speaks. Where'd that come from? Interplanetary radio. There. You have plotted to turn the people of Theros against me. But I cannot conquer. I destroy. I have already unleashed a concentrated shower of cosmic waste squarely at your position. Listen. Dr. Tobor to pay so quickly for his treachery, what strange creatures are to invade the Earth? Don't fail to see Captain Video's Peril, the third exciting chapter of Captain Video, at this theater next week. Captain Video has led the people of Theros to a great victory over the invaders from Atoma. But now, Vultura makes a last desperate effort to avert defeat and disaster. something <laughs> couldn't get loose. You shorted the control board. Lucky for you, you had rubber soles on. I'm okay now. Is the atomic shower continuing? Yes, its force is increasing. Do you have any magnetic counterwave apparatus we could use to repel it? Yes, but it is not powerful enough. Coupled to a cosmic booster, it would be, though. Brilliant. I'll do it. The atomic shower is stalled. Perhaps we can turn it back on Volterra. You've done it. The atomic shower is moving back on Atoma. Your genius has saved us again. I'm glad to be of service to your people of Theros in their fight against the dictator Volterra. We'd better get back to where we left Dr. Tobor. Let's pick up our own clothes on the way. Dr. Tober, calling headquarters on Atoma. Dr. Tober. 
calling Valtura. Valtura speaks. Where are you? In the Theros control room. And it wasn't destroyed by the meteoric bombardment I created? No, there's uh, apparently only slight damage. So it was Captain Video who succeeded in turning the cosmic mass back toward Atoma. It has caused much destruction and many fires here. Well, Captain Video has done more than that. He caught me in the cave and took me to his landing craft to await a space rescue ship from Earth. I managed to escape so that I could report to you. Excellent. I shall order my men to destroy him and his landing craft. But you have no available forces. Your conquest of the planet may prove costly as Captain Video has armed the people of Theros against you. Does he suspect you of any treachery? I don't think so, but, but he might if he went to the landing craft and found that I'd gone. Then return there and make some excuse for your absence. But, but I don't understand. You will go the privilege of eliminating Captain Video. Dr. Tobor, we're back. He's gone. I told him to wait here. You don't suppose he deliberately sneaked out on us? Captain Video, help! Here they come. I'll break away and delay them. You make the getaway. <laughs> Came back just in time. The soldiers found the landing craft and chased me into the rocks. Take him back to the compartment. I'm going after them. of Altura meant to harm you. They meant to kill me. I owe my life to you and your friends. We of Pharos owe our liberty to you. And that is more precious than life itself. And you've proved that you'll fight to preserve it. I feel better about leaving now. Leaving? My friends and I are returning to Earth as soon as our rescue spaceship arrives. What's that? Our atmospheric locator has picked up an impulse from some moving object. This may be what we're waiting for. Substratosphere penetration at 2300 decimeters. I hope it's your spaceship. It can't be anything else with a signal output like that. I've set the automatic pilot. Our guided robot should land here in approximately one minute. Good old Gallagher. He came through. Let's go. taking off. Pressure density, 0.7 degrees. Set the magnetic stabilizer. We've cleared the substratospheric wall. Next stop, Mother Earth. Our telefinder is centered on the space projector returning to Earth. I'll give Dr. Tobor five minutes to complete his arrangements. Prepare to take control of the ship. What's the matter, Doctor? I, I don't know. Dizzy. Came over me all at once. Maybe a touch of air sickness. Help Dr. Tobor into the rear compartment. Sure. No, no, it's not necessary. I'll be all right.
You notice anything strange? Kind of stuffy in here. That's it. Oxygen thinning out. Turn up the pressure intake. Spaceship is faltering. Now we shall bring it here to Atoma. Vacuum lock one, make contact. Something's pulled us off course. Control's frozen. The automatic distress signal. It's uh, too faint for a local signal. I wonder if it could be from a spaceship. See what you can pick up on the Astro Viewer. Right. Moving not because 11 11 perimeter, sir. I'll try to identify it on the scanning device. The rescue ship we dispatched to Captain Video on Theris. But it's veering away from Earth. Something's wrong. That explains those distress signals. We'll cut in the robot pilot. Projectile's moving away from us. Vacuum lock two before we lose it. Hurry. There's some strange force tugging at that spaceship. We're breaking its grip. Our electronic stabilizer is pulling it into the Earth's atmosphere. Fix what was wrong. Gallagher fixed it. He took over by remote and guided us into the Earth air layer while we were passed out. And we're okay? We'll be safely home in ten minutes. Never mind that. Let it go for now. The escape of Captain Video has forced me to change my plans. The time has come to direct all further attacks against the planet Earth. Contact Mobile Base 5 to stand by for instructions. this area. It has feared all petroleum stores east of the supply depot were lost. Disaster equipment is being rushed to the spot. The cause of the explosion remains unknown. Agent 172, out. Another one? Another one. Here's seven more. An avalanche at Mountain City. The hydroelectric plant burned out at Westfield. The Riverview Dam went out. And three government warehouses collapsed, all within an hour. What do you make of it, Captain? I don't know, except that all these disasters seem to be tracing a definite course. Have you checked on the scanning device? No, I was going to. The blaze is completely out of control, enveloping the entire Mount Kelton area. Three fourths of Morganville is underwater. The National Guard has been called out. The blast came without warning. What caused it remains a mystery. The pattern is very definite. Unless I'm mistaken, something should soon happen in the vicinity of Centerport. Agent 12 reporting. Several strange creatures resembling mechanical men have been seen in this area, advancing in the direction of Centerport. No further details. 
Gallagher, remain at your post. Doctor, stay here. You may be able to help. Ranger, we're leaving for Centerport to try to prevent a disaster before it happens. Turn on the radionic directional guide. What's the idea? I planted an open transmitter on one of those monsters. It'll put out a signal we can follow. Wait here. They're headed toward the chemical factory. See if there's another way in. to Captain Video's jet mobile. Has Dr. Tobor taken command of Captain Video's control room? Be sure to see Entombed in Ice, the fourth action chapter of Captain Video at this theater next week. Ventura, dictator of Atoma, sends strange mechanical monsters to invade and conquer the Earth. Captain Video and the Ranger race out to do battle with them. It's on fire inside. Wait here, I'll see if there's another way in.
Captain, I dreamt I was in a burning building. That was no dream, Ranger. I remember the mechanical men. What happened to him? Captain, look out! Think it's human? My guess is it's robot, electronically controlled. This must be a control mechanism. Get busy on that side. Contact Voltura on the planet Atoma. Tell him that Captain Video has found the brain of one of the robots. Calling Voltura, the eight-time cycle. I've often heard of a man with his heart in his throat. That's the first time I've ever seen anybody with his brains in his chest. Well, now that we've got it, what are we going to do with it? That's something we'll have to figure out when we get back to the lab. Put this in that small box. Identifying numerals 398. Command control. This is control. Gallagher speaking. Identifying numeral 742. We're on our way in. We've got something hot. I've been watching you on the scanning device. I saw you take the mechanism out of the mechanical man. I want to check on that as soon as I reach control. Prepare the ultrasonic amp meter. This machine you call a static beam is very similar to the electronic energizer perfected by Dr. Pauli. I wouldn't know about that. I'll be back in a minute. Whoever controlled those mechanical men could have blasted the car. Something like our static beam was used. We'll check on it when we get back to the lab. Has anybody used the static beam? Not that I know of. The jet mobile was blown up by exactly that type of atomic force. Well, I did leave the room for a few minutes to get the ultrasonic ammeter. did give me permission to study the laboratory, Captain. But I would hardly try to operate the static beam without knowing precisely what it would do. Captain, could the mechanical men have anything to do with it? I doubt it. One was burned up and we tore another one apart. The rest vanished as mysteriously as they appeared. I trust you found out how the robots are controlled? We learned a little, but nothing of great importance. Ranger. Send that through on the cosmograph. Right, sir. Dr. Tobora. Sit down, Ranger.
finally rid of Dr. Tobor. It seemed to me he wasn't too happy about leaving. You can hardly blame him after having been kidnapped from his laboratory. What's this thing? You'll see. It's an insulated audiograph. See, the light is dim. That proves the static beam has recently been used. To blow up the jetmobile? I thought all along that Dr. Tobor was working against us. I hope you're wrong. If you're not, it's going to complicate things for us. We shouldn't have let Tobor go. Why not? We couldn't prove anything. Besides, I wanted him out of the way while we try to analyze this contraption. I'm sure I know what Captain Bedio had in that box, and I don't like it. I don't like it at all, Refner. Unfortunately, Doctor, there doesn't seem to be anything you can do about it. The Commissioner has stationed armed guards all around us. Government guards aren't going to stop me. Two men on the wavelength of Vulture on the planet of Toma. the outer limits in the eighth time cycle. Dr. Toba calling Valtura. Dr. Toba calling the outer limits in the eighth time cycle. This is Valtura of Atoma. I am receiving you, Dr. Tobor. Captain Bedio has disassembled one of our mechanical men and is analyzing its brain. You give the captain credit for being much too clever, Doctor. I defy him to figure out how those robots operate. No, but there are others who can help. Who are they? Well, one is Professor Felix Markham, the other one is Professor Anton Dean. Did you know who they are? Our problem is quite simple. The first thing to do is this. I want the names of two scientists that can help me with the robot control. Have an agent report back at once. Gallagher, turn on the scanner. Agent 3-4 reporting. Go ahead, 34. Best men in the robot field are Professors Markham and Dean. Pick them up and bring them to control. Four calling control. Identifying numerals one six one. Come in control. This is control. Captain Video speaking. Professor Markham has been taken by an unidentified man. I'm out of service. Return to your base. Ranger and I'll go after Professor Dean ourselves. Check. Signing off. We'll take the robot control mechanism with us. Come on, Ranger. Assist me with those controls. Professor Dean will see you. Thank you. Just a moment, please. He doesn't want you to go too close. He's odd that way. I see. So 
you are the great Captain Video. Why am I honored by your visit? I have a strange mechanism I want your opinion on. What is it? Part of a mechanical man, which with others has been causing great destruction. I have reasons to believe it's an invention of Altura's. Altura of Atoma, the supreme scientist of the universe. Surely you don't admire him, Professor. He's a dangerous enemy who plans to enslave the universe. Merely a figure of speech, Captain. Sure, just a matter of opinion. He never was here. His image was projected by cosmic vision. The other one's gone too. It's paralysis gas. I wonder where that door leads to. Those people are covered with frost. Well, that's Professor Dean and Markham. mean that Baltura is to start his invasion of the Earth? How much longer can Dr. Tobor get away with his treachery? Don't fail to see Flames of Atoma, the fifth smashing chapter of Captain Video, at this theater next week. Captain Video seeks aid from a scientist to analyze the mechanical brain he has captured. The scientist vanishes mysteriously and now... Those people are covered with frost. Well, that's Professor Dean and Markham.
so am I. Captain Video should have called in before this. He'd have contacted us if anything were wrong, wouldn't he? Roger. Get bearing 650, the occupant's kilometer. Captain Video and Ranger, but I can't make out what's wrong with them. What's your reading? Azimuth, 167.43, vertical, 188.59. I'll try to pick them up on the scanning device. They've been caught in the frost ray. Turn on the thermoid transmitter. perfectly. They're defrosting fast. Captain Video! Captain Video! Look, the frost has disappeared. Gallagher must have picked up the signal on the directional guide. Professor Markham, Professor Dean. Are they still alive? Yes. Well, I try to revive them, see if you can find a way out of this cave. We'll do. Where are we? Why did you bring me here, Captain? Video? I didn't. The Ranger and I found you and Professor Markham here. Have you any idea what happened? Well, last I remember, I was walking along the street on the way to my house. I felt something jab me, like a needle. Then I... Then I saw you right here. Captain Video! I found a way out. Good. I'll call the control, then we'll try to get these men out of here. Captain Video calling control. Identifying numeral 389, come in Gallagher. This is Gallagher, numeral 572. Have guards posted around Professor Dean's house. We're going there. We'll take Markham to the hospital. He's in bad shape. Captain Video signing off. Guard headquarters. Control. Send three men to Professor Dean's. After they knocked us out with that paralyzing gas, Volturas men must have stolen the electronic brain. Naturally, Volturas doesn't want us to learn how his robots work. So I guess that's time this, Professor. Well, unfortunately, Captain, I cannot analyze the device without seeing it. But surely from my description, you must have some ideas. Yes, I have. In the first place, I'd say the brain is too small to be controlled from any great distance. If that's the case, Baltura, if he's the guilty one, must have had some of his people fairly close to the defense plant where the fire occurred. But we've had no reports on any spaceships approaching Earth for many weeks. Then we must conclude that Baltura has agents working right here amongst us. And I'll bet Dr. Tobor is one of them. You're probably right, Ranger. But we haven't been able to pin anything on him. And what's more, they never will, eh, huh, Rodney? That's right, Dr. Tobor. You're much too clever for them. We'll head back to control, Ranger. First, let me thank you for saving us from that cave. I'm sorry I couldn't tell you more about the brain. We'll break that secret some way. I intend to find the source of power to those robots. Tune in on the wavelength of Vultura on Atoma.
Earth calling the outer limits in the eighth cycle of time, Dr. Tobor calling Vultura, Dr. Tobor calling the outer limits. This is Vultura of Atoma. You are calling me, Dr. Tobor? Yes, about the space platform. Captain Video is trying to discover the secret of our robot control. So Captain Video again seeks to match wits with me. Rest assured, Doctor, that he will be sadly disappointed. Run across anything? No, and I've covered half of North America. How about you? I think I'm picking up something on the electronic wave detector. It's moving awfully fast. Give me the figures. Horizontal, 7, 2, 7.11. Vertical, 9, 0, 09. Point 36. On an arc of 22 minutes. The time integer is 8, 8. Gallagher, get on the stool. Ready, Captain. Azimuth, 26.16. Vertical, 97.44. Airspeed, 900. Ranger, except for the airspeed, your factors on the optic and sclometer are the same. Right there. There's something up there, Captain, but there's a cloud formation blocking my view. How about you, Ranger? Same thing here, Captain. Clouds, and I can't penetrate them. Then there is something behind those clouds. Something that's guarded by Omicron rays. Whatever is up there, this gravitational decelerator should bring it down. Something has happened. Our rotor speed is dropping through inertia. Platform calling the outer limits in the eight time cycle. Altura is inspecting his interplanetary forces. This is Hussard, his assistant. Our space platform is being held by inertia. Try to descend to Earth and make repairs. You still on it, Gallagher? Yes, sir. Whatever it is, it's coming down. Where? Somewhere in the vicinity of Lost Hill. Ranger, get the jetmobile ready. Yes, sir. You can test it in just a moment. from here, right behind that hill. Turn the booster to 31. 31 on the booster. Raise the degravitator to pi 6, 6. Pi 6, 6 on the degravitator. We're almost there. Set the controls at normal. This is Valtora of Atoma. Report your progress. Tell him they're finished and you're ready to return. Repairs have been completed. We are ready to return to Atoma. Wait a minute. Repeat.
repeat that. Repairs have been completed. We are ready to return to Atoma. Lose no time. I do not wish anyone on Earth to learn the secret of our space platform. Still can't pick it up. Control room, Ranger Rogers. How long ago was that? Okay. Agent 31 reports he saw Captain Video and Ranger take off on a space platform two minutes ago. Oh, that's great. Now all we have to do is sit and worry until we hear from them someplace two billion light years away. from here to find the entrance to Volturas underground domain I hope probably knows how to open that entry. Shall I bring him to? Not yet. I remember dimly from another trip here. Those things came open when code words were spoken into them. Let's ask him. He wouldn't tell us if he were conscious. He's still out. That gives me an idea. The Stephaphone. What are the code words which open this portal? I can't see the bottom. We'll work our way down the rocks to that ledge, and we'll have another look. I'm ready. Why did you open hatch number seven? The code words were spoken. How could he have learned them? Who? Captain Video. But no living man can climb down that flue. He'll be trapped on that ledge near the top. All right. And we'll see that he's well taken care of. Ignite the polarized furnace under number seven. dictator's march of conquest. What use is the to? See what happens in A Stray in the Stratosphere. Chapter 6 of Captain Video at this theater next week.
capturing one of Volturo's space platforms, Captain Video and the Ranger daringly use it to invade the dictator's planet, Atoma. Why did you open hatch number seven? The code words were spoken. How could he have learned them? Who? Captain Video. But, but no living man can climb down that flue. He'll be trapped on that ledge near the top. All right. And we'll see that he's well taken care of. Ignite the polarized furnace under number seven. See anything? No. What's that? I don't know. of the difference in our chemical properties. Turn it off. Maybe we ought to find our way out of here. We've come this far, and since nobody expects us, we just well go the rest of the way. Well, I'll try anything twice. That settles Captain Video. We'll make a report on this. Thank the cosmic vibrator. Those guards never knew what jarred them. This space projectile seems to be ready for flight. What's to keep us from using it to return to Earth? I wouldn't think of leaving without seeing Volturo. No need to seek a way out, Captain Video. There is none. Escape is impossible. As a scientist, I need not remind you that there are three known dimensions. I have deprived you of two of them. You are in the third, death. Does that double talk make any sense? No. Hold this. There's a passageway beyond that door. Well, let's break it down. There's an easier way. transmitter. What are you doing, Captain? Changing the electromagnetic wavelength. I'm going to try to beam a message through the Gallagher headquarters. Captain Video calling Central Control. Captain Video to Ranger headquarters. Come in, Gallagher. Stand by to receive. All chief agents to assemble at orbit patrol ship launching base for special orders. We'll stand by for reply. Shut it off. I was sure the report of Captain Video's death was premature, so I set another trap for him. Hold his message. I'll use the closed circuit to send Captain Video a reply. Thank <laughs> you. 
Here comes our answer. Message received. More practical if chief agents assemble at headquarters. Request corrected instructions. Standing by. Why the switch to headquarters? Well, I suppose Gallagher has his reasons. We'll do it his way. Captain Video to Central Control. Captain Video calling Gallagher. Instruct all chief agents to assemble at Ranger headquarters for special orders. Video cutting out. Captain Video has just sealed the doom of all his chief rangers. Just one more final touch is needed. He and his young companion shall be present to witness the results. It's locked and there's no way to open it. There's another way out. What's that? I think we're in an elevator being lowered through a shaft. Captain Video, honored by your visit, but you have unwitty given me a chance to make use of it. Aren't you forgetting something? We have you covered. Have you? Take a good look, Captain. What you see is my image projected on a screen. Why have you brought us down here? I thought you might like to hear the sound of your voice. What do you mean? I recorded the message you thought you sent to your ranger headquarters on Earth. You mean that message never got through? Let's say it was delayed. Then it was you who sent back that coded reply. Exactly. I wanted your rangers assembled where I could reach them. Now we can share the pleasure of hearing that message transmitted. Start the recorder. He's going to use my voice to lead the rangers into a trap. Captain Video to Central Control. Captain Video calling Gallagher. Instruct all chief agents to assemble at Ranger headquarters for special orders. Video cutting out. Attention all field units in the Northwest sector. This is a general alert. All chief agents report to Video Ranger headquarters at once. Attention sector four. All chief agents will assemble immediately at Video Ranger headquarters. General alert to all chief agents in Sector 3. Report to Video Ranger headquarters at once for special orders. Video Ranger HQ summoning all chief agents from Sector 5. Thanks to you, Captain Video, your Ranger organization will soon be smashed. Without leadership, it can no longer stand in my way of complete conquest of the solar system. As for you and your companion, any attempt to escape will be useless. For the present, you may remain where you are until I decide your fate. A solid wall. Even the doorway is an illusion. The elevator that brought us here wasn't. How do you close that door? I don't know. Close that door.
I can't get through to warn Gallagher. Voltura must have set up a static wall. Control to launching room. Respond, launching room. That's Voltura. All is ready, Voltura. And the vapor bomb? Fully installed in the space projectile. Excellent. Time is to destroy video's headquarters and all Ranger personnel at approximately 9.3 shadow cycles. How soon can you release the rocket? Almost at once. Then prepare. That rocket's in the launching room where we first came in. Can we get back there? Yes, and he's going to help us. Take this elevator up to tunnel level. I recovered, they were gone. Captain Video may attempt to interfere with the flight of that rocket. Post a guard at the rear entrance. Attention, Tunnel Guard 15. Be on the alert for Captain Video. He's probably heading for the tunnel. Close in on him. I'll flash a warning to the launching room crew. Attention, launching room. Captain Video and the Ranger are heading your way. Fire the rocket immediately. to locate that vapor bomb. Into the rocket ship, quick. by the paralyzing vapor bomb. I'll deflect our course if I have to smash these controls. It's too late for that. You are nearing Earth's atmosphere. Its density is already releasing the deadly fumes into the rocket. <coughs> Continue the fight against Dr. Tobor's men. 
What powerful new weapon will Tobor come up with now? For the amazing answers, see Blasted by the Atomic Eye, Chapter 7 of Captain Video, at this theater next week. Captain Video and the Ranger escape from Atoma in Voltura's rocket ship. They're unaware that the dictator has led them into a deadly trap. These Volturan controls are all different from ours. Must be some way to figure them out. There isn't time for that. You are under robot control, moving toward your Earth headquarters at tremendous velocity. Even now, your entire staff of agents is assembling Nothing you can do will prevent their destruction by the paralyzing vapor bomb. I'll deflect our course if I have to smash these controls. It's too late for that. You are nearing Earth's atmosphere. This density is already releasing the deadly fumes into the rocket. assemble here as planned. Go to your emergency stations and stand by for further orders. Roger. 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 cleared the gas from the air. Something has checked our downward speed. But I still can't get these controls to work for me. Planet Theros, calling Captain Video. This is Alpha, calling from Theros. This is Captain Video. Go ahead, Alpha. The ship you are in is traveling through our atmosphere. I'm gaining control of it. I'm happy to hear that. Would you like to land on Theros? Not now, Alpha. It is important that I return to Earth at once. Very well. I will try to contact your Earth headquarters and transfer control there. We're losing control of the rocket ship. It's heading toward Earth. Increase the hydrogenic radiations. They have reached full power, Voltura. They are being blocked in the orbit of Theros. Someone there is doing this deliberately. In my next attack, I'll destroy everyone on Theros. Meanwhile, I can still deal with Captain Video before he reaches the Earth. Keep watch here. I'll set up to me. Gallagher calling Captain Video. Here, calling Captain Video. This is Captain Video. Alpha has transferred control of the ship to me. I'm guiding you to Earth. Fine, Gallagher. Keep me advised of our position and potential. This is Voltura calling Dr. Tobor on the planet Earth. Dr. Tobor. Dr. Tobor. Yes, Voltura, I understand. What do you want me to do? Destroy Captain Video in the rocket ship before it lands. Have you sighted it yet? Yes, we've been keeping it in view. Then do as I ordered.
guided here. We'll send out an electronic interference screen. What will that do, Doctor? Conflict with the guiding rays and destroy the ship before it lands. Gallagher, the motion of the ship is becoming sluggish. I know it. You're meeting with interference. Is it caused by air conditions? No, it's a heavy electronic discharge. I'll try and trace it. Video Ranger headquarters to Ranger Brown. Calling Ranger Brown. This is Ranger Brown. I have an instrument fix on that rocket ship. It should be landing soon. Electronic waves are being directed toward it. See if you can find out where they come from. Right away. Ranger Brown reporting. Those electronic waves are definitely coming from the direction of the Tobor Laboratory. I'll try to block them. The metal's smoking. <coughs> We've got to bail out. We have to get any shoots. I'll bring her in the store. Get ready to jump. Ranger jumped from the spaceship and landed in a haystack. Calling station X, calling station X. TC, calling station X. The haystack is in zone three. I'll get there at once and destroy Captain Video on the Ranger. Yes, sir. Let's go. Captain Video can't seem to find his young friend in the haystack. We'll settle his problem for him. Turn on the gamma heat frequency range. Where are you, Ranger? In here! Vibrator can't harm them at this range. If they don't know that, it'll hold them off for a while. Let me have your palm mic. Captain Video calling Ranger Brown. Emergency. Captain Video calling Ranger Brown. Where are you, Captain Video? Near Mint Canyon, a quarter of a mile off the road. The sound of firing will guide you. We're on our way. Yeah, but you better watch him. That Captain Video's full of tricks. Starting to close in. Here come our rangers. Got 
away. I'd like to capture the truck that came in. Let go. and I'll cover you with the isotopic radiation curtain. Calibrate frequency 10 for a vector reading of 1, 2, 0. faced with another riddle. Uh, it's one riddle we can answer. We know that your rocket ship was forced down by electronic waves. Where'd they come from? They came from the direction of Pobor's laboratory. We'll go there. I want to ask Dr. Pobor some questions. Right. Just a moment. Here's Dr. Toba now. It's Voltora. Yes, Voltura. Why have you stopped creating atmospheric disturbances on Earth? Well, I, I thought it better for the time being. Since when do you make the decisions? Well, the Captain Video was beginning to suspect that I was responsible. I see. Perhaps you had better return to Atoma. You can aid me in my next campaign against Theros. But I can't do that. You can do whatever I command. Await my orders. I'm beginning to distrust Dr. Tobor. He doesn't seem anxious to serve you. It may be that he's playing a double game, working with Captain Video against me. Then you should investigate. I have a plan. Summon two men, the same build as Captain Video and the young ranger. I'll send them to Earth on the space platform. Retina? I don't want to go to Atoma, but Voltura may try to force me to. How can he? He may try to take me by surprise. To guard against that, I'm going to connect up the atomic eye. What's that? Someone I'll show you. When this machine is turned on, anyone crossing that point will be disintegrated by the beam from that eye. Now, suppose that chair was an intruder. Watch. its molecular structure is now dispersed into the atmosphere. Is Dr. Tobor in his laboratory? Well, he should be. Nobody has gone in or out since I came on duty, Captain Video. I'd rather not be announced. Yes, sir. Someone's in the building. Only be an enemy. Get over there. I'll turn on the atomic eye. What 
new treachery is Dr. Tobor plotting? Is the odd space platform from Atoma to return again? Be sure to see Invisible Menace, Chapter 8 of Captain Video at this theater next week. Having aroused the suspicions of both dictator Valdura and Captain Video, Dr. Tobor realizes that he's in a desperate situation. It's gone. Disappeared. Yes, its molecular structure is now dispersed into the atmosphere. Someone's in the building. It can only be an enemy. Get over there. I'll turn on the atomic eye. Dr. Tobor in his laboratory? Well, he should be. Nobody has gone in or out since I came on duty, Captain Video. I'd rather not be announced. Yes, sir. That's a marvelous machine, Doctor. Yes, it certainly is. And that's the last we'll ever see of Captain Video and the Ranger. I hate to contradict you, Dr. Tobor, but the Ranger and I are very much alive. I can't tell you how glad I am to see you. But who were those other two men? They looked exactly like you. You don't know who they were? No. They were obviously intruders, possibly criminals. It's a lucky thing I had the atomic eye turned on. It's a deadly device. It probably saved my life. We'll never know. One of your visitors must have dropped these. What are they? When I was on the planet Atoma, I noticed that some of the inhabitants wore buttons like these. A Toma? I'll keep them. If anything else unusual occurs, let me know. Of course. So Voltura sent those men. But why, Doctor? Possibly to take me back to Atoma. Turn on the space radio phone. Two men stay around here undercover and see what goes on. We'll take your car for a minute. Is Tober up to something? I don't know, but he's had some strange visitors and may have more. Keep a sharp lookout. Right. If they were your men, Volcura, I deeply regret what has happened. It doesn't matter. They were expendable. Part of my plan to test your loyalty. To you? How can you doubt it? I don't know. You passed the test when you tried to destroy Captain Video. I have a mission for you, Doctor. A new device for Captain Video has just been delivered to the Apex Warehouse. 
What sort of a device? It's an Astra camera that works on the principle of a guided missile. He could use it to photograph all my activities up here. You want me to get it? No, destroy it. The third man from the space platform will drive up in back of your laboratory in a car. How do I get out without being seen? There is a way. Use Dr. Pauly's cloak of invisibility. You understand? Yes. I'll report back to you later. Prepare the infrax projector. Captain Video and his entire organization can't stop me now. Any word from Captain Video? No. Rogers, look at this. platform from Atoma. Let's see where that man goes. He must be one of Voltura's men. Calling Captain Video. Urgent. Calling Captain Video. Urgent. Say the car is heading toward Dr. Tobor's laboratory? All right, I'll try to spot it through my scanning goggles. Turn around, cut across country, and follow it. There it goes. Any Dr. Tobor. Is there a gun in this car? Yes, in the glove compartment. Who fired those shots? I'll change the tire. You radio Gallagher to trace that car. Calling Captain Video's headquarters. Video Ranger calling headquarters. Roger. I'll call you as soon as I locate the car. Trouble. You check it fast and move on.
Captain Video. Gallagher calling Captain Video. The car is now in front of the Apex Warehouse. The Apex Warehouse? We'll head there at once. That's where the Astra camera is stored. Did anyone come here with this man? I didn't see anyone else, Captain Video. He was probably diverting your attention while an accomplice got inside somehow. Hold him. Let's take a look inside. was made to blow up the warehouse. Alert all guards. Search the ground. Taking this man along for questioning. Keep your eye on the car. I'll have it picked up later. Dr. Tobor, I'm waiting for your report of what happened. Captain Video prevented my destroying the warehouse. Then your methods must have been stupid. Well, shall I try again? No. Captain Video's too clever to leave anything of value in the warehouse. Captain Video captured your man, Zarol. You must see that Zarol is rescued. He is a valuable man. But that means I'll have to get into Video's headquarters. Use the cloak of invisibility to do it. And this time, don't report failure to me. Very well. Prepare the infrax projector. Once again, who was with you? Our prisoner seems tongue-tied. Maybe we can cure that. What are you going to do with me? Merely relaxing you by means of diathermic impulses. Your objections to talking will disappear. You feel more like answering questions now, don't you? Yes. What is it you want to know? Tell me all about the plans to blow up the warehouse. Well, I, I had orders to take a car and pick up the doctor. Run for it. The car's outside. The electric time lock has been shorted. Someone's been in this room. Someone we couldn't see. car drive away. Is there anything wrong? Our prisoner escaped. Pick up his car on the optical kilometer. Radio its direction to me in the jet mobile. Gallagher, we should sight them any minute now. Captain Video's car is too fast for a doctor. We're near the space platform now. 
Leave this car blocking the road and run for it. to the man who escaped. Yeah. The space platform has taken off. The captain's unconscious on it. have to carry on alone and unaided? What is the meaning of this savage fight? For the stirring answers, see Video Springs a Trap, Chapter 9 of Captain Video, at this theater next week. Video captures one of Valtura's agents on Earth. The man escapes and flees with the invincible Dr. Tobor. Captain Video and the Ranger pursue them. The captains captured the man who escaped. unconscious on it. Captain Video has been knocked off the space platform. He's floating in a stellar void. What can we do? Try to get him back to Earth. I'll see if I can increase the Earth's gravitational pull. Horizontal 82.3, vertical 309.71, arc 14 minutes 13 seconds. I hope it works. That's in it. He spawns toward us at a terrific speed. How are we going to land him safely? You'll find out when the time comes. Gallagher at Control Headquarters. Captain Video will land near Twin Peaks at 0930 hours. Meet him there with the jetmobile. Right. He's fallen through the stratosphere. Great. Great? What do you mean, great? <laughs> I'll take care of that.
Sure glad you're safe, Captain. Thanks, Ranger. How did you know where to pick me up? Gallagher called me just as I came to. Well, then he must have guided me in and landed me on a sonic air cushion. I want to get back to the control room as soon as possible. Anything special on your mind? Extra special. We might have had the answers to a lot of questions if that prisoner from Baltura hadn't escaped. Someone helped him. There was no one else in the control room. There was somebody else, Ranger. Somebody upset that diathermic accelerator to attract our attention. Then that same somebody cut the prisoner's bonds and got him out of here. Do you think someone could be using Dr. Foley's book of invisibility? Yes, I do. Any idea who? Dr. Tobor. He's a smart one, that Captain Video. But not smart enough to cope with me. It was clever to plant that microphone while you were invisible. There's one way to find out if we're right. How's that? Inspect the vault where Dr. Polly's inventions were stored when he disappeared. That's an idea. We'll be able to find out if the cloak of invisibility was stolen. When can we go? The sooner the better. We'll contact you, Gallagher, as soon as we learn anything. Right. Saying I knew I came to right here. Who's he? The real guard. I found him tied up. You know him? Never saw him before. Stand by. I'll take a look in the vault. Who sent you here? Well, you'll have lots of time to think up an answer. It's jail. The cloak of invisibility is gone. Has anyone been in here recently? Not since I've been here. I've only been on duty a couple of days. We'll turn that man over to police, then get back to headquarters. Come on. Someone knew we were going to that vault today. Otherwise, they wouldn't have substituted that fake guard. I hadn't thought of that. What's the answer? I don't know yet. But my guess is we'll find it back in the control room. Well, what are we waiting for? We're not.
I just thought of a way to learn the identity of our invisible visitor. Professor Carmody has invented what he calls the Murray camera. With it, he can take photographs of people after they've left the room. You mean get a picture from their vibration? Yes. So even though the man were invisible, we can get his picture from this room. Remarkable. Can that be possible? Yes, I've been experimenting with that very idea. Professor Carmody must have advanced further. I'll telephone Professor Carmody and ask him to have the camera loaded on a truck and delivered here as soon as possible. I will set a trap for the man who planted that microphone. I'm betting we'll catch Dr. Tobor. Get Professor Carmody on the phone. If that camera works, it will expose you. I know that. There's only one thing to do. Get into Captain Video's headquarters and blow it to atoms. That isn't going to be too easy to do. Headquarters calling Station X. Headquarters calling Station X. Come in, Station X. Station X receiving you. A truck will pick up a cabinet at Professor Carmody's laboratory within an hour. Intercept that truck and carry out the following instructions. I'll try and something happened if it's going to. Relax, Ranger. Still a long way to the control station. Get your truck underway. We'll take care of these. <laughs> Dr. Tobor sent you fellas to stop the truck. We don't know any Dr. Tobor. What was in that truck you wanted? We just don't like trucks. Very funny. Suppose you laugh. After we turn you over to the police. this Moo Ray camera works. I hope it does after all the trouble we had getting it here. I'm not at all satisfied with the way that business on the highway worked out. Broke up the fight and put those men behind bars where they belong. There's one thing that doesn't ring true. What is it, Captain? If they only wanted to get possession of this camera, all they had to do was cover the driver and his helper with guns, climb in the cab and drive the truck away. Instead, they got in a rough and tumble fight. Maybe they're just stupid. I think they only wanted to create a diversion. But why? That's what worries me.
Gallagher. This is the rhombic materializer. It creates an energy that can penetrate the cloak of invisibility. Captain? Never did before. Captain, that door just opened and closed. Yes, it did. your story this time, Doctor. How did I get here? I... I'm in your laboratory, Captain. Just like you'd planned to do. Talk fast, Doctor. Oh, I wouldn't lie to you. You must believe me, Captain. Frightfully hot. I don't feel well. Let me out of here. I can't figure out why it's so hot in here. Can you? I'm going to make another check on that camera. Who is in this wildly fleeing car? What new and strange underground menace is this? Next week in this theater, see the plot unfold further in Menace of the Mystery Metal at this theater next week. to trap the invisible Dr. Tobor, Captain Video has a complicated camera brought into his headquarters, and now... Captain, that door just opened and closed. Yes, it did. Dr. Tobor! What's your story this time, Doctor? How did I get here? I... I'm in your laboratory, Captain. Just like you'd planned to be. Talk fast, Doctor. Oh, I wouldn't lie to you. You must believe me, Captain. Frightfully hot in here. I don't feel well. Let me out of here. I can't figure out why it's so hot in here. Can you? I'm going to make another check on that camera. Not sure we were done for. Lucky I managed to grab this antidetonator in time. It's the only thing that saved us. We certainly owe you our lives, Captain. You owe me something else, Doctor. A confession. You knew that explosion was going to happen. That's ridiculous. Would I have stayed here in the same room if I'd known? You had no choice. Remember, you did try to leave. 
I've already explained. I was acting under the influence of Vultura. We might find the answer to that back in your laboratory. Take his cloak, Gallagher. Come along, Ranger. We are escorting Dr. Tobor home. Captain Video and the Ranger are here to satisfy their curiosity, Ratman. I see. Is there any way I can help? Yes, you can bring us some strong coffee. We've had quite a trying ordeal. None for me, thanks. For me either. Oh, as you wish. Go quickly, right now. Pardon me. You seemed anxious to get rid of him. Yes, I wanted to talk to you about Ratna alone. What has he done? Possibly nothing, but his actions recently have aroused my suspicions. Why didn't you mention this before? Well, I didn't want to unjustly accuse the man. What is that? Retina running away in his automobile. Congratulations, Retina. You were very prompt with that uh, strong coffee. Luckily, we had the prearranged code. Captain Video and the Ranger didn't lose any time in going after that car you dispatched. What if they overtake it and learn the truth? By that time, they will be firmly caught in another trap. There he is. Oh, tight. Here's where we'll quit loping. lead us to the car's control point. Come on. It's growing fainter. It started fading just after we passed that side door. Expecting you, Captain Video. Where's that car you were tailing? Got into trouble. What kind of trouble? Something like this.
I'll take a look inside. Shifting their location, Volterra's agents were able to keep us from triangulating on their position. Somebody is transmitting on the same wavelength. Your failure to destroy Captain Video's headquarters has succeeded only in endangering your position. On the contrary, Volterra, it's Captain Video's position that is endangered. How do you mean, Dr. Tobor? I tricked him and the young ranger into chasing a robot car. Why now it's drawn them into a fatal trap. If that's true, you have removed a most formidable enemy and paved the way for my conquest of Earth. Ah, uh, you forget that the Video Rangers are a powerful worldwide organization. They will resist with every scientific weapon they possess. Their scientific weapons won't be useless against the power of platinite. analyze the supply of platinite you shipped from Atoma. With what results? It's more dangerous than we imagined. The deadly effects of such a metal could destroy all life within a 20-mile radius. Then put it to the test. Well, that will be risky. That's our transmitter. I found it necessary to store the substance in an underground lead-lined vault. You will arrange for the guard to remove the platinite at once. The rangers are listening in on the Atoma wavelength. I understand, Volterra. We'll soon stop that. that platinite. Can we head them off? We don't know which way they went. All we know is that it's somewhere underground. Captain Video calling control. Identifying numerals 136. Gallagher speaking. Numerals 924. Notify the Commissioner of Public Safety to evacuate residents of all communities within a 30-mile radius of here. Right. A state of emergency exists. Through Dr. Tobor, Volterra is about to unleash an attack to platinite, a deadly metal. Have every source of power to Tobor's lab cut off. Instruct all rangers in Sector B to spread a dragnet for him. Check. Anything else? Yes. I'm going to use a Super Geiger counter to track down that platinite. Signing off. Persons, except authorized civilian and military personnel, are ordered to leave this area immediately. This is an emergency. Evacuate at once. Emergency. Got something? Maybe. A definite disturbance at 0 0.7. That's northeast of here. I'll change course. Set her down. 
One of you could be Dr. Tobor, and another might be Retner. Take off your helmets. Let's see how we scored. to be found even in the commissioner's office? What new and daring move will Dr. Tobor's men attempt? See the startling answers in Weapon of Destruction, Chapter 11 of Captain Video, at this theater next week. Captain Video learns that Baltura plans to release platinite, a deadly metal, upon Earth. He and the Ranger try desperately to avert disaster. Ranger, that's deadly radiation!
take this. It'll counteract the effects of the radiation. Voltura's agent sure disappeared in a hurry. What do we do about the platinite in the cave? I'll call Gallagher from the plane. As soon as we can get there. You're not waiting for me. Captain Video calling Gallagher at Ranger headquarters. Identifying numerals 381. Gallagher speaking. Numerals 475. Did you locate the platinite? The Ranger and I just escaped from it. You mean to say that stuff's been turned loose? Yes. Contact the Secretary of Public Safety at once. That entire area must be blasted out. Right. Give me your exact location. All persons except authorized civilian and military personnel are ordered to leave this area immediately. This is an emergency. Evacuate at once. Emergency. mobilized ground and air crews succeeded in destroying the deadly platinite before its radiations got out of control. Credit for averting a major disaster is officially given Captain Video for his timely warning. So he escaped the trap. That video has an uncanny way of accomplishing the impossible. How did he find out about the platinite? Well, he must have tapped our Atoma wavelength and overheard me discuss the details with Voltura. That's why he cut off our power source and doubled the guards watching this lab. But he doesn't know that we have a secret entrance. What if Video finds it? He won't. Not if we find him first. An analysis of the platinite confirmed my suspicions, Commissioner. It's a deadly metal unknown on Earth. It was brought here from the synthetic planet Atoma be used as a weapon of destruction. Only somebody familiar with those facts would have stored it in that cave. Exactly. Somebody like Dr. Tobor. Tobor? Well, he's one of our greatest scientists. And one of our greatest scoundrels. He and Volterra have joined forces for the purpose of conquering the universe. I can hardly believe it. We couldn't believe it either at first. When did you start to suspect him? It began about the time a series of strange cosmic disturbances appeared, affecting the weather all over the continent. The video ranger was speeding back to headquarters with important information. We picked him up on our scanning device and saw that it was headed into trouble. Only the ranger's daring driving prevented his capture and the loss of important information. I tried to communicate with the ranger, but couldn't get through. Somebody had erected a sonic barrier between us. I tried to radio too, but it was no go. But one of the men chasing you was able to radio. I figured he was contacting somebody up ahead. So I went into action with the optic and scalometer. We picked up a truck leaving a lonely cabin. There was a box in the back of the truck. A finer adjustment on the scalometer showed that the box was filled with explosives. I figured that with my jetmobile, I could get there first. Thanks to its super speed, I did so, and just in time. Once again, the Ranger came through by superb driving. It was too close for comfort. But how does this involve Tobol? The information that the Ranger brought proved conclusively that Dr. Tobor had been causing the cosmic disturbances which led to those floods and hurricanes. Of course, he denied everything. Yes. It was shortly after that he was abducted and taken to Atoma. Though we know now, he went willingly. Yeah, there's still no evidence that would stand up in court. There will be. Much later, the Ranger and I were heading back to headquarters with a part of one of those mechanical men. We reported to Gallagher by radio. 
Dr. Tobor was there too. We hadn't yet returned him to his own laboratory. We learned later that Gallagher had left Tobor alone for a moment. We realized that something was wrong when the instruments on the dash suddenly went haywire. We didn't waste time in bailing out, and we just waited. We proved later by a test that our static beam had been used. Tobor is the only one who had a chance to do so. Of course, he denied it. Right. That's when we had him sent back to his own place. But he'd already learned that we had a part of the mechanical man. You'll remember we took it to Professor Dean for analysis. Dean not only acted strangely, he talked as if he were on Voltaire's side. Then suddenly he vanished before our eyes. We realized he hadn't been there at all, that his image had been projected by cosmic vision. The bomb contained paralysis gas. We tried to get out, but the gas cloud was too heavy. When we came to, we were in the ice cave. Then we found Professors Dean and Markham. We were frozen in ourselves, but Gallagher got us out of it. However, we never found that part of the mechanical man. Dr. Tobor was the only other person who knew you had it. Yes, but as you say, that's still only indirect proof. Tell him about the time we had to bail out into a haystack. We were returning from our second trip to Atoma. The rocket ship we borrowed from Volturra started to act strangely. We contacted Gallagher and ordered him to trace the suspected interference. Gallagher got in touch with two agents, whom we had posted near Tobor's laboratory. Then the rocket ship went entirely out of control. The Ranger and I barely managed to bail out. We were lucky enough to land in a big haystack. Then the mysteriously controlled interference ray set the hay afire. The rangers reported to us that the rays which caused all this came from Tobor's laboratory. That's when you went there and learned that he'd used his deadly atomic eye on two unknown who were, strangely enough, clad like the ranger and me. That cinches it. So you see, Volturas has had a powerful ally here on Earth. It was Dr. Tobor's strange actions and evasive answers that gave him away. Then as long as uh, Tobor is at large, we can expect more trouble from Voltura. Not if we know in advance what he might be plotting. Is that possible? I think so. That's why I'm here. Are you familiar with the Whitney Eye? Yes. It's a highly concentrated lens with 10 times the power of the 200-inch one at Palomar. It's stored in the government supply depot in, uh, in this area, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What about it? If such a lens were trained on a Toma, coupled with the optic and scalometer, it would reveal every move Volterra makes. Well, that sounds fantastic. Yet it might help us. You'll need uh, a written order from me to obtain release of the lens from the supply depot. Uh, when will you uh, be able to pick it up? As soon as I can get it. I'll see that you get it the first thing in the morning. Thank you, Commissioner. Gentlemen. Oh, uh, come in, Charlie. We're just leaving. That's what we've been waiting for. It looks like an ordinary door hinge pin. It is. But concealed in that hollow pin is a minute wire recording mechanism that records sounds on a hairspring wire through magnetic impulses. Then we can hear what was said in the deputy commissioner's office. Exactly. By playing it back on the audio amplifier. Are you familiar with Whitney Eye? Yes. Highly concentrated lens with 10 times the power of the 200-inch one at Palomar. It's stored in the government supply depot in this area, isn't it? What about it? If such a lens were trained on a Toma, coupled with the optic and scalometer, it would reveal every move Volterra might be plotting. Well, it sounds fantastic. Yet it might help us. You'll need uh, a written order from me to obtain release of the lens from the supply depot. Uh, when will you uh, be able to pick it up? As soon as I can get it. I'll see that you get it the first thing in the morning. If Captain Video succeeds in going through with that plan, do you realize what it'll mean? Volturra's position will be endangered. And our own. 
Can a way be found to destroy that lens? Why destroy it? If the lens can be used to spy on a Toma, Vultura should be able to use it to concentrate on Earth. There isn't much time. Video will act first thing in the morning. Yes. He'll dispatch a truck to the government supply depot first thing in the morning. What are you fellows here for? Boss has the orders. We were sent here by Captain Video to pick up a telescopic lens. Oh, yes, I received a phone call concerning this release order from Deputy Headquarters. Here's the lens. All right, boys, let's put it aboard. I'm Captain Video. I received this signed release order from Deputy Commissioner Wade permitting me to pick up the Whitney lens. I want to get things in order before the truck arrives. Well, you're just five minutes too late. A truck just picked up that lens. With what credentials? Here it is, signed by the Deputy Commissioner. That isn't Wade's handwriting. That's a forgery. Well, they just left in an open state body truck, turned south on the highway. There'll be another ranger along here in a couple of minutes. Tell him I've gone after that truck. to confront the video ranger. Is the dictator Vultura ready for his planned invasion of the Earth? You can't afford to miss Robot Rocket. Chapter 12 of Captain Video at this theater next week.
Captain Video speeds in pursuit of Dr. Tobor's agents who have stolen an invaluable lens from a government warehouse. Calling control room. Captain Video calling control room. I see. And where are you now, Captain? Just off Highway 201, five miles north of the government supply depot. Have the ranger pick me up. I'll relay your message to him immediately. your message. How did they get away with the Whitney lens? I'll tell you about it on the way. We're going after that truck. Gallagher will call us when he spots it on the scanning screen. Calling Captain Video. This is Gallagher calling Captain Video. Come in, Gallagher. Have you spotted the truck with the stolen lens? Yes. It turned off the main highway and is entering San Vincente Valley through the Fremont Pass. Roger. We'll cut across through the hills. There they go. That's Captain Video's jetmobile. Put in a call for help. Falling plane, T-1. Falling plane, T-1. What's your location, Elko? Well, then stop and hold him off till I get there. I've just left the airport. I got one of them. How do you feel? I'm all right now. It's quite a shock when that bullet hit my electronic gun. Where did those men go? They're not important. We must take that lens to a safe place.
us below. Fly lower so I get a better look at them. The truck with the lens has been captured by Captain Video. There's nothing we can do. Yes, there is. We're going to destroy that truck and Captain Video with it. You take the jetmobile, I'll drive the truck. The plane is flying awfully low. Yes. Let's get started. the target. Video Ranger calling control room. Video Ranger calling control room. You say the plane is bombing Captain Video? Yes. Find it on your scanning screen and beam the inactivator frequency on it. Right away. I radioed Gallagher to beam the inactivator frequency on the plane. Good, let's see how he's doing. Captain Video calling control room. Captain Video calling control room. Control room, Gallagher speaking. Any results, Gallagher? Yes, I have the plane in sight. I'm about to force it down. Tell me where he lands as soon as you determine the location. Yes, sir. You take the truck. I'm going to investigate that plane. Go back. They've turned in under those trees. Something's wrong. I haven't got control of this plane. Gallagher to Captain Video. Gallagher to Captain Video. I'm bringing this plane down into Stillwater Canyon. Calling Station X. Plane T1. Calling Station X. This is Station X. Anything wrong? Yes, we're being forced down in Stillwater Canyon. Get a car out here as fast as you can. Get onto the road and watch for the car. When it comes, signal me.
Where's the car? I want to get back to the lab before. That's Captain Video's car. Yes, Dr. Tobor. Your pilot's tied up inside it, and you're going to join him. What does this mean? It means that we finally caught up with you. Thank you, Captain Didio. Dr. Tobar will be held in custody pending his trial. You don't seem to understand that I'm a scientist. We understand enough, Doctor. And you'll have ample opportunity to defend yourself before the court. You're planning on going through with your uh, test of the Whitney Eye? Yes, at the government proving grounds tomorrow morning. In spite of the fact that knowledge of it leaked out? Yes. By the way, how did you find out about it? It was only discussed here between Commissioner Wade and myself. Probably some sound recording device planted here in the room. Oh, I can hardly believe that. We'll soon find out. This is a magnetic impulse detector. It will expose any ordinary dictaphone. Something like a Geiger counter? Yes, but far more sensitive. Your wire recorder. So that's it. You know, Dr. Tobor, this gadget is worthless. It was your eyes that led me to that hinge. You're far too smart, Captain. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. That's all right, Charlie. You can come back in the morning and clean up. Yes. I got him. Dr. Tobor got away. Hold him. This powerful lens is being trained on a toma from the proving ground. When? It's being set up right now. Thank you for the warning, Dr. Tobor. I will be ready for it. Aren't you afraid of its power? Its very power will defeat it. I am going to launch a destructive nuclear rocket that will travel straight to the lens. All we need now is Captain Video's Opticon's kilometer attachment. The beam from the Whitney Eye has reached our planet. Set the control on the nuclear rocket. Sensitize it to the beam. Sensitizer is tuned to the beam from the eye. Launch the rocket. farther into space than anyone ever dreamed possible. Beam it up. Will Dr. Tobor continue his betrayal of civilization? Or will some strange new complication confront him? 
see the thrilling answers in Mystery of Station X, Chapter 13 of Captain Video, at this theater next week. Captain Video recovers the Whitney Eye from Dr. Tobor's men. But now, Vultura plans to destroy it, so it cannot be used against him. farther into space than anyone ever dreamed possible. Beam it up. Get out! Captain Video exploded that rocket in midair. Where could it have come from? From interplanetary space. Check over the land, see if that concussion damaged it. It'll probably need adjusting. I'll call back for a report on it. You think the attack came from the planet Atoma? Yes, and that means Dr. Tobor has informed Voltur of our plans. We've got to find Tobor. Vultura on the planet Atoma. Dr. Tobor calling Vultura. Dr. Tobor calling Vultura. You are coming through clearly, Dr. Tobor. What is your report? I saw your rocket explode, but can't say exactly what damage it did to the Whitney lens. It probably destroyed it. Call me back when you find out definitely. It's getting difficult for me to get information. They're trying to run me down. I'll arrange for your transfer to Atoma very soon. The sooner the better. Ranger Brown calling Captain Video. Come in, Ranger Brown. Any news? We've been policing the airways as you ordered. Someone has just been using an interstellar space channel. Could you hear what was said? No, but we triangulated on the transmitter with other rangers. It is located in the Soledad Hills overlooking the Proving Ground. Good work. I'll cut across there through Granite Gap. There's a car coming up the grade. Get underway. in video's jetmobile. That's the fastest thing on wheels. There it goes.
Station X calling L1. Station X calling L1. This is L1, Retton speaking. Go ahead, Dr. Tober. Are you alone? Yes, the guards are all outside. Good. I want you to blank out this truck with the isotopic radiation curtain. Yes, Doctor, I'll turn the machine on. Hold it while I transfer to the other circuit. You'll have to tell me how to beam the radiation. Calibrate frequency 11 for a vector reading of 135. Bring the frequency up to full power and stand by for any further corrections in the vector reading. Yes, Doctor. Not a thing in sight for miles. They must have turned off on that side road. Not a sign of them. It proves definitely we're dealing with Dr. Tobor. You think he made that truck disappear through scientific means? Undoubtedly. He's a clever and dangerous man. A grave menace to our national security. We've got to capture him. How can we if we can't find him? Then we must make him come to us. I have a plan, but it will need the cooperation of the authorities. Of course, we'll help in any scheme to apprehend Dr. Tobel. Now, oh, what have you in mind? A little strategy. We'll spread the word that someone else has made a confession, clearing him. I see. And that should make him feel safe in resuming his career. Exactly. Well, then what? He's too smart to walk into a trap. He won't have to. We'll withdraw all the guards from his laboratory, offering him perfect freedom of movement. And under those conditions, you'll be responsible for his capture? Yes. I'll have one advantage. I am now in possession of Dr. Pauly's cloak of invisibility. Well, that should help us. Now, how do we uh, put your plan into operation? Through the newspapers and the radio. The government has issued a statement clearing Dr. Tobar of all charges of disloyalty. A prominent scientist whose name is withheld has made a startling confession. This unnamed scientist admits that he's been acting as Volturo's chief agent on Earth. His confession makes it plain that Dr. Tobor has been the innocent victim of a name-blackening conspiracy. Now for the market report. That leaves you sitting free. Yes. That mystery scientist is. Some crackpot, no doubt, who's trying to capitalize on the publicity. Yet they're stupid enough to believe him. Oh, no, they're not stupid, Aker. They only seem stupid by comparison to myself. Check with Retina. Station X calling L1. Station X calling L1. Yes, Doctor. All the guards have been withdrawn from your laboratory. Splendid. I'll be back there shortly. In for X beam, Gallagher. Captain Video leave? No, I'm here. Over here. Come along. You can drive me to Dr. Tobor's laboratory. Come on. You wait here. You're too visible to come with me. 
Yes, I can see that. Dr. Tobit, I was just polishing the machine and someone pushed me. I. Well, there's nobody here. You've just been working too hard to touch a vertigo. Have you had any word from Polchura? Yes, sir. I told him you'd been cleared by some other scientists. Scientists? Some madman. What scientist beside myself has brains enough to carry out Volturas' orders? Brains enough, for that matter, to overthrow Volturas and rule the firmament myself. This is the planet Atoma calling Dr. Tobor. Voltura is calling. This is Dr. Tobor. I'm safely back in my laboratory. The folly of your enemies has made it possible for us to go on with our plans. You can now regain the confidence of Captain Video. Yes, I don't expect any more trouble from him. Until we are ready for the master stroke, it might be well not to communicate with each other. Yes, I think you're right. Captain Video has always tried to get proof that I was your agent, but so far he hasn't succeeded. I know that. You will hear from me when the time is ripe to subdue the Earth. Dr. Tobor. Captain Video. I have all the proof I need now that you're a Voltura's agent. Thanks to the cloak of invisibility, I heard every word you said. Stay back. So, it's all been a trick to make me commit myself. Yes, and the trick worked, Dr. Tobor. You figured I'd come back here to my laboratory, hmm? Right. And that you'd communicate with your master, Voltura. And now that you have the upper hand? Now I want a full written confession from you, Doctor. Naming all your accomplices. Let's go. Confession will take time. I'm in no hurry. It's that truck of Dr. Tobor's. It's heading in the direction of the lab. Turn on the static beam. Focus on that truck. Calling Captain Video. Control room. Calling Captain Video. Calling Captain Video. Control room. Can't you stop that truck with the static beam? There's a range of hills in between that the beam can't get through. Well, keep watching for your chance. I'll warn Captain Video. This pen's out of it. Get me another one, will you, Ratner? Drop that gun! Thanks, Ranger. How'd you know I was in trouble? I didn't. I came here to tell you that Dr. Tobor's men were driving here to rescue him. I'll take Dr. Tobor to headquarters. You send out a call to all Rangers to intercept and capture those men. Right. Gunplay. There might be some other rangers around. Get in. Nice work, men. Voltura may want our prisoner brought to Atoma. Meanwhile, take him to the dungeon. I'll join you after I attend to some important business.
take that belt off of him and keep your eyes on him. I can see the truck. It's out of the hills now. We can hit it. Set the beam for section three, zone 10. Tobor be able to get rid of the Video Ranger as well? Will Captain Video's entire organization be attacked and destroyed? Don't fail to see Vengeance of Vultura, Chapter 14 of Captain Video, at this theater next week. video corners and captures Dr. Tobor, but he is unaware that help is coming for his captive, and now... It's getting awful close in here. I feel like I'm choking. <laughs> Captain Video, what are you doing here? Station X just blew up with the three men that were holding me prisoner. Then Gallagher must have succeeded in locating it with the static beam. I headed out this way, hoping to pick up its trail. In Tobor's car? After the ambulance took Retton to the hospital, I discovered our jetmobile was gone. Probably with Tobor in it. Never catch him. Let's get back to headquarters. The scanning device may show us where he goes. Yet. I've covered the range twice, but still no pickup signal on Dr. Tobor or the Jetmobile. Maybe he's lying low. It's my guess he's been frightened into hiding. 
by the dragnet we've thrown up around this area and the extra guards we've posted to watch his lab. That's what bothers me. A cornered rat can be dangerous. Or careless. What do you mean? Take a look at this. The Jetmobile. It's been abandoned and roughly 7.2 on the directional gauge. And that would fix its position about uh, 11 miles due north on the old Mill Creek cutoff road. Robor may be hoping to slip through our roadblocks on foot. Stay close to the transmitter for any bulletin reports, Gallagher. The Ranger and I are going after the Jetmobile. Right, Captain. Mill Creek Road is the next turn to the right. Here, this could be a trap. Killed him. He's merely temporarily paralyzed by a mild electric shock. It was just a trap. I knew you'd attempt to trace the car, so I thought I'd make it easy for you. Get in. Radio your man at Ranger headquarters. Order him to raise the roadblock and remove all the guards from my laboratory. He'd never do that. He would if you told him you'd captured me. Maybe. But I'm not going to tell him. What do you think's going to happen to Captain Video if you don't? He wouldn't dare. A hunted man in my position has nothing to lose. You have. Video Ranger calling control. Identifying numerals 248. This is Gallagher speaking. Numerals. Zero, one, three. We've captured Dr. Tobor. That's wonderful news. Anything we can do? Yes. Order the roadblock lifted throughout this area. And instruct Quimby to withdraw all guards covering Dr. Tobor's laboratory. Effective immediately. Got it? I've got it. Captain Video and Ranger are in a jam. How do you know? By the identifying numerals, 284. That's code for trouble. Well done, my young friend. The way is now clear to take these prisoners to our secret vault. Stay with them till you hear from me. Put them in.
Dr. Tober calling the planet Atoma in the eighth time cycle. Dr. Tober calling Vultura. Come in, Vultura. Vultura is ready. What news, Tobor? I've trapped Captain Video and his young assistant. They're being held in an underground vault. Excellent. I shall dispatch a spaceship to bring them to Atoma. Have them at your laboratory. No, no, that's too dangerous. Once it's known that Captain Video is missing, the place will be surrounded by rangers. Now, what do you suggest? In the mountains due west of here is a natural clearing. Guide the spaceship there. I'll be waiting with the prisoners. How will you reach there? By plane. I've kept a ship ready for just such an emergency in a private airfield five miles south of here. Very well. I shall expect you to be at the appointed spot. Good. I leave immediately. Attention, Barg. Tobar speaking. Bring the prisoners to the airfield at once. I'll be waiting. Hurry. switchboard just got a report from Tobar's lab. There's been trouble. What kind of trouble? Tobar's on his way to an airstrip five miles south of there. Is he alone? No. Captain Video and Young Ranger have been captured. They're being taken to the airstrip by Tobar's men. We've only seconds to act. Calling all mobile units. Calling all mobile units. Code one alarm. Converge on a private airfield five miles south of Dr. Tobar's lab. Captain Video and the Video Ranger are Tobar prisoners. They're being smuggled to field by persons unknown. Stop all planes from taking off and conduct search. Question all field personnel. Hold suspicious characters. Approach Tobor with extreme caution. He may be armed and is dangerous. Take it off. Would you mind telling us where we're heading, or is that a dark secret? Not at all. We're heading for the planet Atoma. 
this plane? The spaceship provided by Vultura will be waiting for us at Pinnacle Rocks. We must be honored guests. You're my prisoners. Vultura will accept you as living proof that I've fulfilled my mission. After that, the Rangers will fulfill theirs. They'll never get the chance. Vultura and I have formed a partnership, pooling our scientific knowledge to conquer the Earth. You sent for me, sire? The plane bearing Dr. Tobor and his two captives should be nearing its destination. I'll dispatch a spaceship at once. I'm not sending a spaceship. I don't understand. Dr. Tobor has served his purpose. This is our opportunity to destroy both him and Captain Video. How? With one of our flying discs, constructed from Dr. Tobor's own plans. Ironic, isn't it? And practical. We'll soon find out. Tube one is occupied. The propelling speed ratio is set at 33,000 revolutions. Increase it to 40. We must compensate for the Earth's atmospheric friction. such a device and turned them over to Vultura. But he'd never direct that weapon against me. He would if he no longer needed you. But we joined forces. Vultura needs my help. He needed your knowledge and my capture. And now that you've given him both, why should he spare you? You're trying to scare me, to turn me against Vultura. But it won't work, Captain Video. Here it comes again! Is disaster to come to Captain Video's control room? Will Vultura attempt a final march of conquest? For the smashing climax, see Video against Vultura, the final chapter of Captain Video, at this theater next week. Tobor traps Captain Video and the Ranger. He plans to take them to Atoma, but the treacherous dictator Vultura has other plans. Look! What's that? Some kind of a flying disc. Couldn't be the same. The same as what? I perfected the plans for such a device and turned them over to Vultura. But he'd never direct that weapon against me. He would if he no longer needed you. But we've joined forces. Vultura needs my help. He needed your knowledge and my capture. And now that you've given him both, why should he spare you? You're trying to scare me, to turn me against Vultura. But it won't work, Captain Video. Out of here, quick. We haven't got any parachutes. Follow me.
Rogers. Turn on the gravitational decelerator. <laughs> Tobor never got out of that plane. Is the machine slowing, Captain and Ranger? It's working perfectly. They're almost on the ground. Gallagher. He was right on the job as usual. Tobor didn't make it. He's too scared. The highway is right over there. Uh, what do we do? Wait or start walking? Gallagher will send the car as soon as he locates one. Anyway, we've seen the last of Dr. Tobor. But there's still Voltura. And until we dispose of him, the universe is in danger. What are you doing here, Captain Video? Well, didn't Gallagher send you? No, I just picked up the car where Dr. Tobor's men left it. Get in, I'll drive you to headquarters. Have you rechecked the instruments? Yes, Voltura. And your findings? Your calculations were correct. Our interplanetary disc destroyed the airplane and all aboard. A spectacular end to two rather spectacular careers. Dr. Tobor might have continued to be of service to me. It's too bad he became obsessed with the idea that his brain could cope with mine. At least you'll have no further interference from Captain Video. There's a man I could have admired if he hadn't chosen to oppose me. What are the reports from our armed forces? They landed their spaceship on the planet Theros without incident. Have they made contact with the Therosians? A few minor skirmishes. But a great battle is shaping up. Not a great battle. They may fight, but they're no match for our superior weapons. After Theros, the planet Earth. Those self-centered egotistical creatures will know what it means to be freed from their masters. Contact my field commander on Theros. Voltura, calling headquarters on the planet Theros in the fifth time cycle. Calling headquarters on the planet Theros. I want action, General. Action. Do you understand? I'm doing everything possible. But these Therosians are using guerrilla tactics. They appear in small numbers, strike at a vulnerable spot, then vanish again before we can trap them. Then flush the Therosians out of hiding and destroy them. That's an order, General. We'll do as you command, Voltura. My poor people. We are inflicting casualties, Alpha. Their losses are negligible. Spaceships arrive every hour, bringing more than enough new troops to replace their losses. What we need is a new and more potent weapon. We've always been peaceful. Until Captain Video taught us to fight for our freedom, we knew nothing of such matters. You give me an idea. Call the planet Earth. Planet Theros calling Planet Earth in the second time cycle. Ruler Alpha calling Captain Video. Get that call, Gallagher. I want to finish this report to the Commissioner of Public Safety. This is Captain Video's control room in time cycle two. Gallagher speaking. This is Alpha on the planet Theros in the fifth time cycle. It is imperative that I speak with Captain Video. This is Captain Video. The people of Theros need your help, Captain. We are again being... All turns are jamming the cosmic airwaves. See if you can pick up anything on the Astroviewer. Uh... I hope that doesn't mean Voltura has taken over the control room on Theros. What are the coordinates? I have them here. Alpha, calling Captain Video on Earth. Come in, Captain Video. I can't get through. There seems to be a cosmic blanket in the way. There's only one chance. 
We must increase our radio power by coupling in the electronic booster. Isn't that dangerous? Yes, but we've got to risk it. Sure, I've blocked this out. If I cannot get through to Captain Biddy, or we're doomed. Stand by with the vapor projector. What are you trying to do? Burn us up? Alpha and Ferris. Calling Captain Video on Earth. Come in, Captain Video. Come in, Captain Video. This is Video. Go ahead, Alpha. Altura has landed an army on our planet. We need your help. Come at once and take command. Video to Alpha. Video to Alpha. Shut down. We're blocked out again. Are we going to Theros? If we could defeat Voltura there, we'd save the Earth from attack. You could do it with your new psychomatic weapon. It'd be a chance to test it. All right, Ranger, prepare the space rocket for immediate departure. Gallagher, help me assemble the new weapon. What is the news concerning Captain Video? He and his Ranger have just landed. They are being escorted here. What of the battle? The situation is unchanged. However, we are informed that Captain Video has brought a new and powerful weapon. I'll meet Captain Video in the guard room. How can I ever thank you for your unselfish devotion to our planet? My motives are not altogether unselfish. By defeating Volturra here, I hope to save Earth from attack. Your motives are still noble. And thanks to you too, brave and trusted friend. I now commission you chief aide to our newly appointed Marshal General. Thank you, sir. And now, let me escort you to your headquarters. The officers will wait here. What I have is yours, Captain Video. I hope I won't need to use this headquarters long, sir. How's the battle progressing? The tide of battle has definitely started to turn in our favor, Marshal General. It must be because of the new weapons which Captain Video brought with him. Let us see the battle on the scanner scope. to be like that for 21 hours. That's why Captain Video named it the psychomatic weapon. And what happens after the 21 hours? The paralyzing effect on the rational brain center wears off and they become quite normal again. By that time, we'll have disarmed. you have made our glorious victory possible. How can I serve you? You will have many of Voltura's troops as prisoners of war. When Voltura learns the defeat, he'll order what few remain to return to the planet of Toma. But we shall capture them before their spaceships leave the ground. They must not be stopped. 
In fact, two officers already captured must be released and allowed to escape with the others. He would do what you ask, but why release any until Voltura surrenders? One defeat will not cause Voltura to abandon his plans to conquer the universe. Given time, he will invent new and more terrible weapons and try again. But if we can forestall him, well, how can we do that? I have a plan that I believe will work. There's one thing more I will ask of you. Gladly. When the tattered remnants of his troops return to Atoma, Voltura will be waiting for them. I spend years training my officers, and they lead my finest troops into a trap. Well, don't stand there gaping at me. The spaceship landed some time ago. See where the prisoners are. They are about to descend into our domain, Voltura. Order them brought to me immediately. Yes, sir. Entrance tower. Control room calling entrance tower. I could have let you rot in Alpha's prison on the planet Theros. I ordered you to return because I want to shame you before every loyal Volturan. I thought for a long time it was our enemy, Captain Video, who was a stupid meddler. But I've changed my mind. He is the clever one. It is my staff which is stupid. One of these officers is an imposter. Destroy the first one who moves. Check the others. This next man is also an imposter. I was sure you would find it so. So at last you meet Voltura face to face, Captain Video. And I seem to recognize your friend. I admire your boldness. But you have made a mistake. You find the mistake is yours, Voltura. Your first one was in attempting to conquer the universe. No man can conquer more than himself. Neatly said. I am almost sad that you will not live to see how wrong you are. Search them and place them directly in front of the electronic disintegrator. made us free men. We know what it is to be ruled by a dictator. You'll have to prove that. We can and will. We had planned to desert and stay on Theros, but your powerful weapon threw us into panic. If you mean what you say, there'll be no more need for weapons that kill men. I think those Volturans were on the level. I'm sure they were. 
There have never been any people in history who wouldn't be free of a dictator if they could. Alpha was sure pleased. He said he supervised their elections. If all men were free to live by majority rule and to worship as they wished, the universe need never know war again. Thank you.